Monday. Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kat. Welcome to my channel. We have so much fun around here. But this is pretty much just going to be a Monday in my life. Kind of the reality of like what Mondays look like sometimes with work. I'm going out of town towards the end of this week and Casey is going back to Atlanta. So we are honestly just slammed this week trying to get everything done for a full week's worth of work that was already pretty busy by Wednesday. And we have friends coming into town. So just a crazy week in general, but this morning so far, we've had emails, coffee, quiet time. Me and Casey went and shot some products for our company, He Would Love First. I did not film any of that, so sorry, um, but we got that done. And now I am filming for Shark Beauty. It's kind of like, um, the product is kind of like Dyson. It's like a mix between a hair dryer and like a hair curler, a more natural way to do your hair. And I started drying it, but the bath, my hair is really thick. It's just so wet. So I decided I was like, I'll get some other stuff done, record this while I wait for the back to dry a little bit, and then finish styling my hair for the sponsor post that I'm making for them. So anyways, that's what this morning has looked like. I have like five other big <laughs> brand things to film today. So today is just a massive day of filming. And I thought, why not take you guys along? I honestly do not do tons of brand work, but it kind of just fell where everything happened to be this week. And I'm super thankful for any brands I get to work with. But sometimes when everything does fall at the same time, it does get super stressful because you cannot control when things get shipped to you and you have to film within certain dates, yada, yada, all the things. And I still have to shoot for Who Would Love First. They have a big drop this week. So, like I said, just kind of a stressful week. I'm leaving for Ella Sister Conference on Thursday in Monroe, Louisiana to be there all weekend, and it's going to be so sweet and such a needed rest time. Um, and just, I can't wait to meet so many friends and just worship Jesus together and hang out. It's going to be great. But for now, we are getting stuff done. And Casey and I have some very exciting news. I'm not sure if I'm going to share on this video or not. Other than that, just have a lot of work to get done today. Going to bring you along for all of it. I also have physical therapy at noon and a long run to do today. I think I'm going to do it in the afternoon because it is already like peak heat of the day and I do not want to run in peak heat of the day in Florida. So let's finish drying my hair and we'll keep on going with the day. So this is the hair product and I'm not really a bougie beauty kind of girly, but this thing is amazing. Like I said, I'm still waiting for the back to dry, but for styling the front, it's already making my hair like so much straighter. So much. They're not paying me <laughs> anything to say this. I just wanted to show you guys. So you just turn this on like a hair dryer and it dries while you brush it. So. You can also turn it on like hot. If you turn it on hot, then it helps straighten your hair more. Like it is doing so much for my hair. And my hair is naturally straight, so putting that extra little heat and like brushing through it while blow drying it, like I would normally get a hairbrush and turn on the heat on a blow dryer if I'm trying to like straighten, straighten it from going to a nice event. So I will be using this shark thing for the foreseeable future in lots of vlogs. So stay excited for that. Okay fam, it's a hot sec later. I finished filming, editing, and turning in all of those pieces of content that I had to get done for that hair collab. And then I posted some TikToks real quick that I had drafted already. And now I'm going to Trader Joe's, so peak part of my day. Um, we are out of literally everything and I'm starving. So I'm going to Trader Joe's to just stock up for me and Casey because I have not been grocery shopping in over a week and get a bunch of stuff that we need and also just put my AirPods in and enjoy it myself because this is one of the least stressful parts of my day and I love grocery shopping. So I'm gonna make the most of it and just kind of have some me time, some zen time, um, and then really enjoy my Trader Joe's, come back, unpack that, and get to work on some stuff on my laptop before I head to physical therapy at noon, and then Casey is gonna help me with another brand deal that I need to film. Let's go enjoy Trader Joe's and then go to physical therapy. Alright you guys, let's do a little TJ's haul because 
I love watching Trader Joe's haul, so hopefully y'all do too. So Casey is currently obsessed with raisin bran cereal, but he doesn't like the raisins. So literally bran cereal, which is the grossest thing. So got him that. He adds like honey and protein and stuff, so it tastes good, but. And then I got some bananas, another thing he adds to his cereal. I got some eggs, we eat eggs every day. It's just an essential. I got this little bag salad because I honestly have not been eating the most vegetables and I love bag salads. So, got that so that I will get my greens in. If you've watched the vlogs or my TikToks, you know we're obsessed with Trader Joe's coconut water. I got six of them, so let's unload all these guys. Literally so many. Um, I ate one of these in the car, but Go Macro Bars. This flavor, it's called Heartwarming Retreat. It tastes like an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie and it's got great ingredients. So good. I wish I got a free go macro. But I don't. Also, I bought organic blueberries. They look so big and good, and I couldn't pass them up. They just look so good. Them, and then I got sourdough bread, which we normally buy sourdough, but a lot of stores don't actually use sourdough starter, which is really good for you if you didn't know. Look it up. Um, because it has good bacteria in it, but the stores don't go to the trouble of making their own starter. Apparently, Trader Joe's actually does, so it's actually really good for you. Then I got this pasta last week and it was so good. So I got that again to make. I wanted to try a new pasta sauce. The ingredients were good on this and a lot of times they're not on pasta sauce. Some peanut butter because we chug peanut butter around this household. So just always buying one whenever I go. And some honey crisp apples, whether for juicing or snacking. And some avocados because we're always on that guac or avocado toast train. And that bag is the heaviest one. So some broccoli because I, like I said, need to be eating my veggies and I love broccoli. Some grass-fed butter. Kerrygold is the butter that we buy. I buy salted because I like salt. We've actually been buying raw organic milk from a farmer's market, but I like to have almond milk on hand in case we don't have time to go to the farmer's market, just so I can swig it down with something. If I want cereal and we don't have anything else, I use almond milk. <sighs> my receipt for all the money I spent. Chicken, I got two things. Low-key organic chicken at Trader Joe's is way cheaper than anywhere else. Like Whole Foods, I'm sure Costco is cheaper, but I also don't love Costco's chicken. I feel like it's not really organic. Maybe it is. I got two more soup potato notes because we already have some. Normally I buy like four of these, but I only got two today. And last but not least, we got some ground beef, one for us, and then Luke and Sid wanted some for their pasta tonight too, so ground beef. And that is the haul. That is all of it. I had my de-stress time at Trader Joe's. Gonna make lunch. Get ready for physical therapy. And that will be the rest of the afternoon. Talk to you later. It's a burger with mayonnaise, pepper jack cheese, multigrain. Hey. Mmm. Want a Hey. Marriage is a series of eating your spouse's food. Big facts. But, PT was good. Lots of cool exercises and updates and stuff. And I'm about to make some chicken in a little salad now and then get to work on planning kind of what we're going to do. Sit down like Q&A YouTube video. We have to reshoot later because my hard drive deleted it. <laughs> we love that for me. So we have to refilm mm -hmm. that and you, yeah. Um, but anyways, to make lunch.
in the gym. I'm done filming my reels. Wearing you would look first. Quick funny story. When she says that I'm home from the gym. Wow. Oh, I told them. I literally went to the gym, stood outside. Wait, I don't think I did tell them. Stood outside the gym for 20, 30 minutes, talked to Lucas, if you know him. He talks a lot, he's very talkative. And and then Kat called. Hey, FaceTime, Lucas, you're not really good at holding the camera out. Sorry. This is why I need wide angle. Lucas and Casey FaceTime 24 7, like all day. Yeah. And then I just left, didn't even go inside the gym, so I'm gonna go for a run instead. We are going for a six mile run. It's long run. We'll day. see, we'll see if it's she can keep day. up. I love it's long very run small day. Small I hope it's not too hot. We waited till 6 p.m. We really should wait until like 7 30, probably. But. Sweat our little booties off, but it's fine. Um, let's go on a run and drink some water because it's so hot outside, I'm not ready for this, so. Okay, so we just got back from our run, and I'm currently snuggling with Rudy Craig. Say hi. Say hi, Rudy boy. He's in a very cute mood right now, so we're going to snuggle and hang out. And then, and then after that, we're going to make dinner, right, Rudy? We ran and it was actually really good. We ran like 7.30 pace for six miles. It felt amazing, the weather was perfect. Also, look at this, he's just such an angel. I have to stop vlogging and snuggle him. All the world. How did you get so darn cute? How did you do it? I tell you what. Hi. Hey, are you sleepy? <laughs> 